Hey guys, Anthony here with another WordPress quick tip. And uh, today I'm going to be talking about a security plugin that actually prevents brute force attacks. And uh, there's a company called uh, Parka that developed a plugin called uh, Brute Protect. And uh, this plugin is amazing. It, it, it will document any uh, attacks on your site. It'll tell you uh, uh, how they were trying to attack, what kind of attack it was, like if it was a botnet attack or something like that. And, uh, and it'll also keep track of plugins that are out of date. It's a really nice all-in-one plugin, but they primarily focus on keeping your site secure. And uh, it's a free service, and recently Automatic, the creators of WordPress, uh, acquired the company. So they're going to be looking into bundling this into Jetpack. So, uh, but the plugin is still available, and it is free. The pro version is free. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it and see how it works. All right, as always, we'll start off in the plugins panel and click on the Add New button. After you click on the Add New button, go ahead and type in the search bar, uh, Brute Protect, and go ahead and hit Return on that. And you're going to see the first plugin is Brute Protect. That's the one we want. It's uh, got an excellent rating, which is awesome. Uh, go ahead and click on the Install Now button and click OK, and we'll let that install. All right, now that it's installed, go ahead and activate the plugin. And once the plugin is activated, we're going to go to the settings portion, and it should automatically take you there. Um, now, uh, what it's going to ask here it says, in order to protect uh, your your website, you must first obtain a free API key. And uh, the thing I like about this plugin is that it doesn't have any logins or any kind of special permissions. It's just it, it's, it's very straightforward. They do a really good job of making it uh, hassle free. So I'm going to click on the Start Protecting My Site button after entering my email address. And after that's done, you'll see that uh, you'll see this this panel here. It says generate your access token link to the site. But first, go ahead and click on the API and privacy settings. And uh, on the privacy settings, check this box here. This box is what's going to allow you to report data to their databases and and uh, and and monitor uptime and things like that to your site. So it's very important that you do that. So uh, go ahead and click that checkbox. And once you've clicked that checkbox, uh, click the save settings button. And once you've done that, let's go ahead and go back to My Brute Protect. Um, once you go here, there's a button that says Generate Your Access Token. What this is going to do is it's going to make a pop-up, and it's going to ask you to log into WordPress.org. I've already done this because I've installed it once before, but what it's asking is to give, uh, uh, give them permission to access your WordPress.org profile, which I highly recommend if you don't have one, uh, set one up. So uh, it gives you an access token. You're going to want to copy that and click on the thanks I've copied my access token button and paste it right here where it says access token. After you've done that, click link this site. And what that's going to do is it's going to set up your dashboard so that you can monitor everything. So after you click link the site, it takes you over here. It switches you to another tab because it needs to refresh the tab. So then click right back on My Brute Protect, and you'll see that your dashboard is now working. So what it does is it, it'll actually tell you how many uh, blocked attacks it, it is, uh, it, it's, it's prevented. And, uh, and it'll also tell you how long your site has been up. Um, and, and if it does go down, it, it shows you the downtime logs, how long it lasted, and, and I believe it tells you why. Um, now, if you look here, you'll see that there are the options to update your plugin. So this, on top of providing security for brute force attacks, it actually uh, it, it shows you all of the plugins and all of your available updates. You'll see that these are, uh, these are themes that I need to update on this. And, um, and it'll give you the option to update them all. Or if, if in the case of, let's say, Brute Protect, I want Brute Protect to auto-update, you can click the auto-update button and, and it'll take care of that. So it's really awesome. In the whitelist IPs section, um, it, it allows you to uh, enter in any IPs that you want to whitelist. So if, if you want only certain IP addresses to be accessing your, your admin panel, it'll give you that option. Uh, in the WordPress settings section, it says Brute, Port, uh, Brute Protect Dashboard Widget should be visible to, and you can set who this is visible to. So if you only want it to be to admins and you don't want all of your end users or people that are contributors to stories and things like that to see it, then you can just set it like that and click Save Changes. And with that, it's done. And that's Brute Protect in a nutshell. Um, I'm really excited to see what Automatic is going to be doing with this. I know that they're planning on putting it in Jetpack. I'm just I'm very curious what new features they would be adding into it. 
Uh, if you have any questions on it or if you have any problems with it, uh, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear it and I'll see if I can help you. And uh, if you have a topic that you'd like me to touch on, also leave a comment below. And uh, yeah, thanks for viewing and subscribe.